Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Eric and I'm glad you could join us because today we've got a very special episode. We're going to be making a turducken sausage. If you're not familiar with what a turducken is, let me explain. A turducken is a roast that consists of three birds into one. That's where it gets its name. It starts off with a deboned turkey that's stuffed with a deboned duck that's stuffed with a deboned chicken. And all the available nooks and crannies are filled with some sort of a cornbread dressing. This is an absolutely delicious roast, but it's very labor intensive to make and very difficult to cook properly. Turkey and duck cook at very different temperatures. So it's easy to undercook the turkey or overcook the duck. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you my version of a turducken sausage that delivers the entire package. I want it to be as if I'm eating a turducken from A Bear's Meat Market in Maurice, Louisiana. So without further ado, let me show you how we made it. I like to start off with an entire turkey and debone it. We're gonna save the skin and save the bones and I'll show you how we're gonna use that here in a minute. Once we have that deboned, I'm just gonna separate the white meat from the dark meat. Now, if you don't have an entire turkey, you could always uh, go to the supermarket, pick up turkey breast, turkey thighs, whatever you have available, that'll work out just fine. There will be a recipe link in the description box below in the event that you wanna make this roasted turducken sausage. And we now have our turkey deboned. I've got my dark meat and my white meat separated. And now I'm gonna take all of the bones that were part of this turkey and just give them a little coat with some milk powder. We wanna recreate the flavors of a roasted turkey and adding milk powder, or in this case, non-fat dry milk, is gonna boost the Maillard reaction, which is gonna add a whole nother dimension to the sausage, not to mention that roasted flavor. So 30 minutes in the oven, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, you just wanna check it from time to time. This is what our roasted bones are gonna look like. We're gonna put that in a pot. I also went ahead and roasted some vegetables. I've got celery, onion, carrots, garlic, you know, the usual suspects for a nice turkey dinner. We're gonna put that in the pot as well, and we're gonna fill it, uh, I don't know, about three quarters of the way with water until just about most of the bones and vegetables are covered. And lastly, we're gonna add the celery leaves from the celery that we processed, fresh parsley, a little thyme, some rosemary, and some black peppercorn. And that is it. Give that a little stir, turn the heat on a medium, bring it to a simmer, and this is what it's gonna look like after a couple hours. And it smells incredible. I'm just gonna strain that out. And now we've got our roasted turkey stock. This is gonna make an awesome addition to our sausage. So we're gonna set that to the side, let it cool, and let's look at our protein. First, we've got our turkey. We're gonna be using turkey dark meat. We've also got duck breasts. Uh, I happen to have duck breasts with the skin on. And then I've got chicken breasts. And there we go, that's our turkey, duck, and chicken. We're just gonna process and cut it into small pieces, small enough to fit into your grinder. For this sausage, I do like to have a combination of white meat and dark meat. I think that it adds to the overall mouthfeel and the juiciness of this sausage, but feel free to mix and match however you want. We're gonna remove the duck skin and set that to the side and just go ahead and finish processing our duck. As far as the fat goes in this recipe, we're just gonna be using the skin from our birds. Primarily, I wanna use the duck skin because I really like that flavor, but you could use 100% chicken skin, turkey skin, or duck skin. It is completely up to you and we're just gonna cut that up into small pieces as well. So this is what we've got going on. Everything has been processed. We've got our turkey and our duck, our chicken, and there's our fat. And then we're just gonna mix all that together and pop it into our freezer. We do want this extremely cold, 28 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's gonna go into the freezer while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna start off with a little salt. We're going to add some brown sugar, that's dark brown sugar. I've got some roasted garlic powder. You could use regular garlic powder if you want. We're also gonna add a little onion powder and some white pepper. Let's not forget about the aromatics. I've got fresh rosemary and some fresh thyme. We're just gonna make sure we chop that up really nice and feel free to adjust the spices as you see fit. This recipe is gonna give you that classic savory roasted turkey flavor. All right, so the last ingredient is non-fat dry milk and it's now time to grind our meat and our fat together. We're gonna to be grinding this on a six millimeter plate, nice and easy. We wanna make sure that everything is ground 
and you want to make sure that it's coming out nice and loose. So when I put my hand through it, as you can see right here, the mixture seems relatively loose. It's not sticky and gummy at this stage. That means our meat was chilled properly. Everything looked good. We didn't smear the fat and now it's time to go ahead and mix it. When you mix your meat, you wanna make sure that your meat is still very cold. So if it needs to be rechilled, definitely take you know 30 or 45 minutes to rechill it. You don't wanna rush this step. So now we're just gonna mix our spices and our liquid to that meat. And one thing I did off camera was I actually made a turkey gravy from that roasted turkey stock that we made. And so I'm going to be adding that to the mix and this is what that's going to look like. You don't need to make a gravy or if you want, you could buy pre-made gravy from the store and add that directly to your mix. What we're trying to do is add that roasted turkey flavor to this sausage and this is a great way to do it. So we're going to mix this nice and easy until our batter becomes very sticky. So when you grab a little handful and you turn your hand upside down, it should stick to the underside of your hand. Now that our meat has been mixed, we're gonna add the last ingredient to this turducken sausage, and that is our cornbread dressing. Now you can make your own or buy it from the store, and what we're gonna do is gently fold that cornbread dressing into our sausage meat. We don't wanna overmix it at this stage, so we want very clear and defined pockets of cornbread dressing. So we're just gonna gently fold that batter onto itself. I'm gonna break up any large pieces, and once I feel it's relatively well incorporated, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the stuffing stage. I wanted this to be a relatively large format sausage, so we're using a 100 millimeter casing, but you could put this into whatever type of casing that you have. I'm just gonna load this onto my stuffer and get it stuffed nice and tight. Now that our sausage is stuffed, it's time to cook it. And at the beginning of this video, I talked about how difficult it is to cook a turducken. You see, it's very easy to dry out poultry, you know, especially if you're using white meat. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our turducken sous vide. That simply means that we're gonna take our sausage and place it into a vacuum seal bag and cook it inside of a water bath. This method of cooking allows us to precisely control the temperature. So we're able to cook at lower temperatures for a lot longer, which is going to lock in the moisture. It's going to completely pasteurize the meat and cook it perfectly. Our end result is gonna be a very juicy and very tender sausage. So now that we've got our sausage vacuum sealed and we're using the Kitchen Boss vacuum sealer, I'll put a link in the description box below if you want information on that. In conjunction with the vacuum sealer, we're gonna be using the Kitchen Boss Immersion Circulator. This is what's actually going to help control the temperature. Now you can see right here, there are factory presets depending on what you wanna cook. For me, I'm gonna set mine to 145 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours. I'm looking for an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna turn the unit on and it's going to begin preheating the water. And as soon as the water has come to temperature, we're gonna place our sausage inside that water bath and it's going to start cooking. At this point, we're just gonna let it do its thing. And that's one of the beautiful things about sous vide cooking is that it's very difficult to mess up. We've got our temperature set and we've got our time set and then we'll come back once it's finished. So we're gonna cook this. 145 Fahrenheit or 62.7 Celsius for three to four hours. I'm looking for an internal of 145 Fahrenheit and the timer just went off. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the bath and give it a slice and see what it tastes like.
the turducken sausage. I am loving the way this came out. I mean, I was a little concerned about the cornbread dressing inside the sausage and how it was going to hold up, but it looks like it held up absolutely beautiful. I mean, the texture of this sausage is perfect. It's got a really nice bind and great particle definition. I mean, you can clearly see the chicken, the duck and the turkey um, and specks of, you know, the fresh rosemary and thyme that we have inside this. So let's just give it a little smell. Ooh, <laughs> wow. That's incredible. I mean, it smells exactly like a roasted turkey. You got a little bit of that herb coming through, but wow, that roasted turkey stock that we added just completely changes this. Okay, here we go. Wow, very flavorful, incredibly juicy. I mean, the chicken, the turkey, and the duck are very tender. They're cooked perfectly. And really that's because we cooked it in the sous vide water bath. The addition of the cornbread dressing is actually a very nice touch. It brings that traditional turducken element to the sausage. And because we added that really flavorful broth, I mean, this literally tastes like a roasted turducken. I hope you get a chance to make it. If you do make it, or if you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We've got some great videos on the horizon that I really think you'll enjoy. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks a lot for being here. Bye-bye.